They recast Gimli the Dwarf with a Dwarf Angelfish? These Peter Jackson movies are just getting worse. Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store, and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about a fish called the Bicolor Angel. The Bicolor Angelfish can be found in Indonesia, Vanuatu, and Fiji. Also known as the Two-Colored Angelfish or the Oriole Angelfish, the Bicolor Angelfish has a beautiful coloration that really brightens up an aquarium. Having a reputation as not being quite as hardy as some of the other types of dwarf angelfish, they do the best in an established aquarium. They are a moderate care level fish that likes to have a lot of live rock in a tank in order to graze and hide. They do nibble on algae a little bit. Some aquarists keep these fish in reefs, but they are definitely reef caution, and they may nip at some stony and soft corals and some clam mantles. As with other dwarf angelfish, it's only recommended to have one per tank, one dwarf angelfish that is, but some aquarists have had luck keeping multiple specimens in larger tanks with plenty of hiding spots, introducing the fish at the same time. They usually hang out in the middle to lower regions of the tank. They are hermaphroditic and extremely difficult to tell the difference between male and female, and they're very hard to breed in aquariums. This guy will max out right around 6 inches. The bicolor angel is an omnivore and not usually very picky. It can be fed a quality meaty food like brine or mysis shrimp, supplemented with an algae-based food and spirulina. The recommended tank size is 70 gallons. Okay, so let's go over our checklist. This is a moderate care level fish that can be semi-aggressive. They're good in fish only systems, but are reef caution. So what are your thoughts on the bicolor angel? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. The bicolor angel has been said to live five to 10 years and even longer in the wild. You shall not pass!